favorite pastime is a passion for fashion Past tense because the dreams have become a designer is behind her Some solely console the lonely when upset with them to mend a broken heart She'll slowly start to sketch again The Michael Kors bag was filled with pencils and paper She drew in the nail salon as I thought I'll eventually date her Will she associate her artwork with the pain I bring? My fear of commitment is why we remain a fling Low self-esteem, high maintenance She'll try my patience while waiting for me to give it the world My lies and false word has been delivered to girls Still they live for the silver and pearls Though the gold in American apparel is what she deserves But she's embarrassed and careful She finds inner peace when she occupies her mind Mama taught her by her quarter life Marry a man who could provide Hi guys, welcome back to my channel It's Kay's Way and my name is Kay Welcome if you're new Before I even start, make sure that you subscribe if you like this video Once you finish watching it Give it a thumbs up if you like this video Leave a comment and letting me know what you would like to see next Or just, you know, if you want to talk to me and follow me on Instagram, which will come up on the screen. Go ahead. Do that. Mm, okay. <laughs> and, yeah, if you guys have any questions that you'd like to ask me, I do have a Ask K's Way email address that's in the description box below. So let's get started. Today is an Amazon favorite. I love Amazon. We already know this. This is ridiculous at this point. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but I love it. Uh, by the way, my outfit my outfit is not from Amazon, but it is from a company that I'm working with called Fresh Frenzy. I will leave a link down below to this specific outfit, as well as a coupon code that I have for you guys. And then this outfit would actually go well with these sneakers that I got from Amazon. Now I was told that they're like Yeezy slash Air Max slash blah 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 inspired and I can see why people would say they're like Air Max inspired and they say just so so <laughs> and I like love it because they're basically just saying the shoes are just so so and I love that. <laughs> I think that's hilarious but I like them. They're like a, a they're actually not my size. They're too big, but I'm going to keep them anyway. They're a little bit too big. Um, they have like the openings at the bottom. I don't know what that's called. The writing on it. And they're just like black with shoelaces that I've never tied or untied. They just came like this. I've never worn them out. As you can see, the bottoms are clean. But um, yeah, I like these sneakers a lot. I thought they were so cool online. And usually I'm like... I'm going to get the brand version of this, this, and this. And I was just like, these are cute. And I'm going to just get them anyway. So speaking of sneakers, I had to jump on the bandwagon with these. So Air Force Ones don't look good on my feet. Unfortunately, they just don't. I've had uh, maybe, maybe a million pairs at this point, which I just don't know how to feel about that. Like that, I just don't look good in them. But I do want... A white sneaker and I was thinking like more of a chunky sneaker to wear with the socks that I'm gonna show you which they're on my feet so I'm gonna be pulling up my leg like showing you because I'm not gonna get up and get the socks out of the drawer not happening uh, these Fila sneakers we already know this was a super popular brand but as you can see loving this it's just the all whites no red and blue on it but I love this shoe. I've actually worn it a few times. You can see they're a little dirty at the bottom. Mm. Mm. That's why I'm not touching the bottom of them. But um, love these shoes. I've worn them with a lot of outfits. And since I've been wearing these chunky socks, these like champion chunky socks, which I will also link below. <laughs> um, they're men's socks, by the way. I've been loving them with those sneakers specifically. Specifically. Mm. And, um, yeah, I've just been loving the chunky socks with, like, biker shorts, which I'm wearing right now, and the Fila sneakers. And, uh, yeah. Next, I'll talk about my projector. So, I know you're like, projector? What? So, I'm one of those weird people that, like, I see things online and I'm like, yo, that's really cool. I want one. So I saw some girl with like a small projector, but I saw the ratings on it. It's supposed to be like wireless and amazing and all this stuff. And it was like $30. Then I saw all of the comments on it and I was like, 
uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm good on that. Cause they were all like, this sucks. The image quality sucks. This one's actually not that bad. I love this. Uh... You know what it's called, projector. <laughs> there you go. I love this projector so much. I actually had a movie night slash barbecue with my family. You know, it's COVID, so, like, obviously no one else was invited, but, um, with my family, and we put it up in the gazebo backyard, in the gazebo backyard, in the backyard in our gazebo, and we watched Black Panther, especially because the kids were going to be there, and, like, we were like, you know what, he just passed away literally a few days ago, so we watched Black Panther in my backyard, and it was great quality. It looked really good. Um, one thing I will say is you do need a white background. Luckily. I have a white backdrop. Look at that. <laughs> so it worked out pretty well for me. Uh, but yeah, I love this thing. I've also just done it on my white wall and like sat on the floor and just watched, uh, what was I watching at the time? The 100. <laughs> really good show on Netflix, by the way, guys, if you haven't watched it. Love this thing so much. Oh, by the way, if I haven't said it, everything will be linked below. Next, I talked about this in one of my videos. It's a little wrinkly because, you know, no one irons for, like, it was folded up. And this is my Try Me shirt, and then it says Malcolm X, 1963. And you know how he was, he was just about that life, you know? <laughs> so I thought it was, like, clever and funny. So I was like, oh, I like this shirt. And also, like, power to the people, so. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I'll go over like my Cricut accessories that I've gotten from Amazon. So I have a Cricut Air. I don't know which one it is. It's like mint green. It's such a cute Cricut. Um, I will link it also below, but I didn't get that on the Amazon. I got it from Michaels, but I still linked the one from Amazon for you guys. Because like, who can beat two-day shipping? Let's be honest. No one. Oh, that's what I thought. Um, so I'm rolling it up right now. It's this gold vinyl. So if you have a Cricut, you know that you can cut stuff up, cut stuff, cut stuff up, cut stuff out, and put um, like your name on things, logos on things. If you want like fabric, I have transfer heat transfer fabric vinyl. Uh, you can put like the logos on things. It's really useful if you're a creative. So I got gold because I wanted to put like my name on certain things, especially going back to school. One second. <clears throat> so I showed this bottle in one of my Amazon favorites. It will be in a card up above somewhere. But um, yeah, so I wrote my latest name and I love it. I'm, gonna, I'm a little thirsty. And if you guys see me looking that way, it's just because I'm using a new camera, which we'll talk about in the next video, but I'm using a new camera and instead of it being on top of my camera, it's to the side and I need to make sure that I'm still in focus or in the middle period. Next, I got white vinyl, which I haven't opened yet, but I said this in my, well, this video will be up before that, but in my weekly vlog, I was talking about how I want to make a dupe of the Scott box, box Scott, whatever, Louis Vuitton, a little plastic bag. <laughs> it's like literally acrylic plastic and it doesn't come with a handle. I found a dupe for the square version or is it the circular version? I think it's the square version, the square version online. And I'm just going to put the white LVs, cut, cut it out with my Cricut, put it on there with uh, this transfer paper. Transfer paper is super important if you want it to lay exactly the same way that it is when you cut it out, when it cuts, well, the, when the machine cuts it out. And last but not least with my Cricut, these cute accessories, come on, come on. So this is one of the, the accessories and I love it because it has like the mint green detailing. I have another one that's colorful, a colorful set that um, I had ordered that wasn't supposed to come, but it came. And they had already given me my refund. <laughs> Don't tell them. Uh, and then this is like the little tweezer thing. I've never opened it. But you like squeeze it. And like stick it, Take things off. It's sharp. So we got covered up. And then 
this is one of those whatever it's a pointy hook thing that you pull stuff off with and then some scissors and I love that it has a cover to it because like I would probably oh this is sharp <laughs> I would have stabbed myself if I hurt like if I did this harder this is sharp be careful guys but I think it's like a wedding crafting set I loved it because it goes perfectly with my um with my Cricut and then there's the smoother part which goes with the transfer paper because you smooth it over after you've like peeled off the excess. You smooth it over the transfer paper. Then you pick up the vinyl, put it on wherever you want to put it on, like lay it properly. You smooth it out again and then you peel off the transfer paper and then it'll be laid. Laid like your wig, sis. Or like mine. <laughs> anyway, and then it comes in this cute little case. like, And it's like a nice feel. I like this. I like this a lot. I feel like I talk so fast. I hope that I'm not talking too fast. We're already at 10 minutes. Next is my drawing. 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 Yo, I did this in another video, bro. I can't. I'm. Am I? Am I dumb? <laughs> The thing that flies in the air, guys. Look, I have it now. I have it. <laughs> so it like spins around, flies in the air. It has a little camera right here. And then like you use your phone. There's a soft, like a app. You use your phone, you put your phone here and then you control it. You know, fly up in the air and stuff. I haven't gotten like great use out of it yet, but I really like it. It's really good quality. Hate that it needs batteries for the remote control, but, and this and this needs a battery but this battery is rechargeable and this is not and it comes with a second battery and it comes with like propeller protectors which I don't keep on there but uh yeah you should because I've definitely knocked this into the ground a few times because it was like flying somewhere that I couldn't control it <laughs> and I would just like drop it like oh, no oh. so yeah but I really like this thing. It's really fun to play with, especially like when it's good weather and you're just trying to see stuff. And like you can record, you can take still pictures. It's really cool. Um, the image quality is not amazing on this one. It is a cheaper thing. I'm not going to even embarrass myself when trying to say it again. Troy. Yes, I am. Troy. It's not drawing. Drawn. Drawn. One. I don't, I don't know. Judge me if you want. Then there's these brushes. Are they dirty? A little bit, but you won't be able to notice. Then there's these brushes. I got a pink one and a green one. It comes in a pack of pink and green. I love these brushes. They detangle like nobody's business. They stretch apart. If like your hair real tangled, like my hair's not that tangled because you know, it's not curly hair. But they will stretch apart and whatever. I don't know, shedding. Hey. But um, they'll stretch apart when like I'm doing my own hair and be like, hey. <laughs> what is wrong with me, bro? Anyway, um, but I got a pink one and a green one. I alternate between them. I use them both no matter what. Like I just I just do the most and use them both. But these are great quality. They don't like pull all of my hair out because I usually have a lot of shedding when I um, wash my real hair and it doesn't matter if I'm like protective styling it doesn't matter if I'm wearing my hair out it doesn't matter if I'm I don't even know <laughs> like wash and go braid out whatever I had it will always like I will I will shed like a dog it's ridiculous but um since I've been using this these brushes it's been a lot better and especially even though like I wear obviously I wear wigs uh <laughs> even though I will wear like a wig and whatever and have my hair underneath it for a while um obviously I, I take it off as well and wash my hair but like you know you know it's different from when you're wearing your hair out um I still get less shedding for sure 100 percent then there are these comes in like a pack of 24 12 something like that I don't know these face shavers I 
love, love, love these face shavers. They're like eyebrow shavers, but I use them for my face um, for makeup. Okay, these are all of them. And they come in an assortment of colors of yellow, green, and pink. So, yeah. You guys can see it. Whatever. And then you just, like, shave. You don't, you know, if you got a mustache, shave, 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 shave. Shave around your eyebrows. I don't like to shave around my eyebrows because, like, I just notice the hair comes back quicker and, like, not effective enough. But my, like, if you have... Every person that I know, every woman that I know, has a little bit of a mustache. If you just shave your little mustache, it won't come back for a while. Unless you grow a lot of hair there. Then I don't know, sis. But, like, my mustache is not noticeable even if even if I don't shave it. I notice it because, like, I'm staring at my face all the time. I'm doing my makeup, etc., etc. So, uh, yeah, I do it all over my face sometimes. Like, once a month, I'll just shave my whole face. And it makes your face really smooth. Also, it makes your makeup go on smoother because, like, if your face is smoother, obviously your makeup's gonna be smoother. So, yeah. Next, I got this skincare routine, which I'm going to only talk about because I'm coming to the end of the toner. It's called Bolden. I got the Skin Clarifying Cleanser, the Skin Brightening Toner. It is black owned. So, support black owned. I'm moving on to Fenty Beauty, but not because this is bad. I just want to try out the new skincare routine. One thing that I won't change is their nighttime serum. I don't have, like, it's, I've used it so much that, um, sis, there's, there's nothing left on the bottle. <laughs> like, you can't see anything left on the bottle. Look at that. It's just, it's, it's crazy. But, um, and then, like, the toner, basically gone. So, but I've loved them, like loved this brand. It lightens like dark marks and whatever. And I have noticed a difference in my skin. It's not a, not, it's not like immense, extreme skin bleaching difference where like if you do like spot treatments of like bleaching those spots, like it's not like that, but it does brighten my skin. And then it also it comes with a hydrating mask, which I haven't used a lot. Maybe I'll use it tonight. Like, I've used it a few times, but I haven't used it enough. But this makes your face tingle. And those things always scare me because I'm like, is it burning or is it tingling? What is going on? Next, going with that face mask, these face masks brush. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Next, these face mask brushes that you just, you know, put it on your face. I used to use my fingers all the time. This just makes it easier that I don't have to get the product all over my hands and constantly have to wash my hands and then go back and like, ugh, it just feels icky. So like putting it on these things is always fabulous. Next is my anklet, which has been lasting me a while. I love this anklet. I also got my mom this anklet. You're not gonna be able to see it great, but it has like elephants on it and stuff. I love it. Let's see if you can see the elephant. Oops. I'm bringing you up to my mic like a, like a smarty. But yeah, whatever. Love it. It's gold plated. I can't wear anything that's like fake, fake. It has to be at least plated. Um, it hasn't done anything wrong for my leg. I'm about to put it back on. So yeah. Don't look at my little black knees. Uh, yeah love it my mom likes hers as well she got the same exact one as me she saw me with it and she was like hey i like that get me one next is my watch band which is fading at this point but i wear my watch literally in the shower <laughs> so this is my apple watch i think it's a series three and i think they're at the series five at this point also like the little plastic cover is yeah it's dying proceed it's dying but a little plastic cover I will link as well for my Apple watch to, to not get scratched I didn't get a glass one because I didn't feel like I needed it how often am I gonna like smack my arm against something and break the screen even though I did break my old oh, I didn't break my old one my niece broke my old one but anyway I love this like uh watch band because it's not like this is sporty the watch is like a sporty watch but I like that it was like a uh, some type of metal and then like you put it on your wrist you go like that and it's metallic it'll just stick on my shirt's kind of in the way and like it may it gives it a cute look 
<laughs> but yeah, I really like this watch band. And we're coming down to the last item. Last but not least, these hair clips. Now these hair clips, I barely use, I'm gonna be honest, but they're so flipping cute that I couldn't leave them out the video. I just wish that they had the same like uh, shape for each style. So like you'll see, one's a triangle, one's a square. If I wanna put them on both sides of my head, I'm gonna have different shapes and it gives a different look. Like I'd rather both of them be a triangle. So they have curl ones, which I really like. They're super cute. But if you're into just doing one side, it's fine. Someone's calling me. I'm filming. I'm going to call you right back. No. What? No what? ¿Qué pasó? You don't like it? Hold on. Wait. Let me call you back. I'm at the end of my video. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. All right. Um. Then there's this, which it's not exactly the same, but they're so flipping cute. They're like a colorful marble type of thing. So flipping cute. This one has like more blues in it. I love them. Love. Next. So these are the clips that go like this. And the other clips that I showed you before are like this, the ones that go like that. Then these are clips that go like this. And they're a uh, leopard print. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. Anyway, <laughs> these are the leopard print ones. Love them. They're super cute. Oh, yes, hunty. Looking cute. Yes. And then last. Oh, not last. Another pair that goes clip, clip, clip. Uh, these blue ones, obviously, rectangle, triangle, like I said, they're blue, they're cute, I like them, so, yeah. And if you want to see how they look in your hair, I'm not going to wear this for the rest of the video, though. But, yeah, love them. And then last but not least... They're these uh, bobby pin type ones that you just like shove into your hair. So this one's like a fatter shape in the middle. Don't get offended by me saying fatter. Like if you get offended by that, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, um, you know, it's thicker in the middle. Whereas this one's just like skinny. So. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. If you see me in the next video on the same shirt, don't judge, mind your business. Um, and I will, well, you guys will see me in my next video. Hopefully, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification button with the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Peace.